And this is where a Wacom tablet is a major advantage because as you get faster and faster, you just have a lot more control and it allows you to get faster and faster. Whereas using a mouse, it's just a little cumbersome, a little clunky and a little harder to get as much control. Now if I zoom in here, now I'm about to change direction. And one thing I don't like to do when it comes to deep etching is have a completely sharp edge. So if I just click here and then move on, this edge is really sharp and it can become a, a little obvious when I, once I've made my selection. So Command Z and Command Option Z to go back another point or another stage. And just to redo that, if I do have a sharp edge, I like to have a kind of a, a gentle curve and that way it's a look, it looks a little bit more natural and a sharp edge isn't quite so obvious. Command minus to pan out a little bit. And the same goes for here as I'm moving down along the bikini bottom. Just a gentle curve. Now something to mention at this point and that is there is such a thing called creative deep etching and all that means is as a retoucher you have creative license as to what you're going to include in the path and what you're going to exclude. For example if I zoom in here at the end of my path that I'm creating at the moment and there's this strap here which runs around to the back of the body and it's not necessary for the image so I'm not going to include that in my path. So I'm just going to deep etch around it. Just like that. Now we've come to the top of the head and as you can see there's all this hair which is just flowing over Rebecca's wrist. And we don't need to deep etch that because in the later tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to mask out hair. So what we'll do is we'll continue running our path along the edge of the wrist here. Around those areas which are going to be solid in our selection. Just like that. And and also what I'm going to do is when I come to this edge of the hair here, this all this loose hair, I'm just going to continue my path deep on the inside of that hair. A nice safe distance from the outside of the hair. And we'll close that path right there. Command zero to fit to window. And the same goes for this side here. So I'll just run my path a nice safe distance from the outside of the hair. And I'll mask all that hair out later in a in a later tutorial